Hello, thanks for stopping by today. Today is the last day that you can register for my Inspiration in the Mail online card class, Tasteful Creations. And I wanted to share with you the options in that class. Option one gives you a half a package of the four Flowers for Every Season DSP. This paper is great. It starts in the spring, goes into the summer, then into the fall, and finally the winter. And there are some that could be used for Christmas. Great paper, double-sided, six by six. Nice, nice colors. It uses a lot of the new in colors. The other option as part of the um, product share is, and this is all in option one, Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. Uh, I can't remember that it's tasteful and textile and everything else, but this is a great background um, embossing folder. I absolutely love it. It's very subtle. Um, if you're familiar with the subtle embossing folder, this one is very similar. Just adds a little bit of interest to the card. We also have champagne rhinestones. These are great if you like our regular rhinestones or the red. Now we have champagne colored and they're beautiful. They are truly a champagne color. That was option one. In option two, you get, you can add on the stamp set and the dies. And the stamp set is tasteful touches and it has some great images and some sentiments. And the dies are all label type dies and they're made to be used with the sentiments in here. I've used them a lot and in fact I'm using two today to create a frame. So with that, let's see, where's my card? I hit it. Here is my card and I use that subtle embossing folder and see, isn't it gorgeous? If you're interested in supplies and measurements for today's card, there's a link in the information section below to the blog post with all the information. Now for today's sentiment, I went back to my stamp set add-on last month to the many mates and I chose the thanks. I love this stamp set. There's, you know, after I've stamped the outside, I can then put any of these um, inside and my card's done. All I have to do is sign it. So let's get started with today's card. First thing you need is, oh, let me pull up my measurements, a Misty Moonlight card base. This is one of our new in colors and I love this color. It is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a fourth. So use your bone folder to take and excuse me use your bone folder to take and fold on the score line you need a piece of whisper white that's four by five and a fourth you're going to use that embossing folder and you're going to run it through your embossing machine to emboss the front this is going to go on the front and we have to put this on because it's embossed. We're going to put it on with some tear and tape so that we make sure it sticks really well. And I think I'm going to use this side. Um, I like the looks of that one. So depending on what look you're going for, you can choose which side of your embossed image you uh, bought embossed paper you use. Um, Usually when you emboss it, the front has the, the front of the um, embossing folder has the name and the line. Um, and if you don't know, that line is a, used for when you put your paper in. You line up the bottom of your paper with that line. And of course, I don't have mine in there very good, so you can see. But you line it up with that line and run it through your embossed machine and you always get a straight embossed image. Um, this one doesn't matter, but some of them you can tell if it's not straight. So you wanna just remember that, use that line to help you get it straight. 
and I'm gonna finish putting this all the way around and then I'm gonna show you how to make that cute frame I've made frames with circles and squares and when I looked at these in these dies I thought ooh I wonder if I can make a frame with it so I tried it all right after you get your tear and tape down make sure you burnish your edges or when you stick your pokey tool underneath you're going to lift up the whole piece of um, tear and tape which won't be good on your cardstock so take and lift burnish those edges and then you can get your pokey tool under it fairly easy and pull up and it won't come away from your um, cardstock that's a problem with the black because the black will pull the paper too. All right, so we're gonna add this centered side to side, top to bottom. Don't push down till you know it's straight. And we're set. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do the, um, how to cut the, frame. All right, so I'm going to pull in my plate and I'm using the magnetic plate. I have the old Big Shot. I just got the magnetic plate. I didn't buy all the other pieces and it's worked for me. All right, I'm going to take and I'm going to cut out this one. So let me cut that out. All right, I've got that cut out. Now what I'm gonna take and do is I'm gonna take the next piece that goes on the inside and I'm watching my side to side and top to bottom. And when I have it in there straight, I'm gonna tape that top corner and the bottom corner with low tack tape, washi tape, something in place. And I'm gonna run this through. Okay, and I've got it done now you want to take off your tape very carefully because if you don't you can rip up your blue that's why you want low tech I will sometimes take and um, stick that onto my pants leg several times and the inside that you have left over from the cutout save because you can use that on another card all right now you want your piece of designer series paper and this piece is two by two and a half and I found the best way to do this because you don't want the glue to ooze out is to use glue dots so I took and put a glue dot in the very very corner you don't want it you know so make sure you put that corner all the way up there or you're gonna have it show through on your card front and then you'll be taking your pokey tool to push it back all right I found it easy to flip it over and then what I took and did was oh and I may have cut this too long yeah because I had just a little bit left over that I had to um, trim off and I'll show you how to do that so now what you want to do is, because you've got these tips showing, take your snips, go in, and separate the DSP from the um, frame before you trim it. So basically what you're doing is you're going in under like this. Let me see if I can show you this way. Um, you're going to go under like so and trim it. And that way, you're not trimming your frame, and your piece isn't showing. Um, let me get this one done. You just kind of have to get your scissors in between the paper and the, the DSP, the cardstock and the DSP. Okay, we've got that done. Now, this is gonna go on here and oops i've got a piece stuck there i'm going to take some tear and tape because this is embossed and i'm just going to put tear and tape around the edge 
of this. I want to make sure this stays down. And by using the edge, you're not going to have your tear and tape show because it's not going to be anywhere near your corners. Okay. Isn't that a cute frame? Now, when you go to put this on, make sure you put it on with your flowers right side up. You don't want your flowers upside down. Um, but if that happens, pull out your heat tool, heat it up, and it'll come off. All right, so there's that and that. I've got one more, or two more. Remember to burnish your edges so that this comes off easily. You don't want to lift up your tape and pull everything else. Now that's upside down, so I'm going to flip this around. And this goes in the center. So again, don't push down till you know you've got it where you want it. What you're going to take and do then is you're going to take a scrap of Daffodil Delight. You're going to stamp your thanks with your Misty Moonlight ink. Then take your layering circles and cut this out. Now, I used the one and one fourth inch punch. This is a little bigger. This one is probably one, um, probably about one and three eighths bigger. So you can punch that or cut it using the layering circles, whichever. I use my punches since I still have them. All right, so we've got that ready to go. You're going to take a piece of gold foil that's one that's a half inch by three and a half, and you're going to flag both ends. And then you're going to take and you're going to add your seal to the back, and then I'm going to make sure this is straight, and you're going to add this to your card base. All right, like so. Using the Spriggs Punch and some Just Jade cardstock, because that's the color green, you're going to punch out two of them. Then you're going to take, and I've got, I've got to clean those off. You're going to take one of these and you're going to trim off that extra piece. Using a glue dot, you want to add your sprigs to the back. And the reason you trimmed off that other one is if you didn't, when you add this one on, it goes in too far and you don't see the um, DSP. So you, want to, you don't want that to happen. <clears throat> now we're going to take some dimensionals. I totally forgot to cut these after the last one. And we're going to add dimensionals to the back. And I'm going to do three. All right. Take your backs off. All right. And then this goes down in this corner. Don't hide all of your gold. Make sure your sentiment is straight. I almost put mine on crooked. I use some of the Misty Moonlight Cotton Ribbon. This stuff is fabulous. Oh my gosh, I'm going to use so much of that. And you're going to take a tie a bow and you're going to put a glue dot one on the left and one on the right of the bow. And you're going to put your bow right there at the bottom of your thanks. Now, the only thing you let need are your in-color enamel dots. And again, we're working in odd numbers. As you can see, I have used these quite a bit. I'm going to be hurting for some blue soon. Oh, forgot. These come off so much easier if you bend it. I was trying to go underneath and for some reason, I think it's the plastic they use, it doesn't do 
as well as some of the others so one more as you can see boy the pink and the blue have been very popular with me and there you have it and don't forget to do the inside and the envelope if you have enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up which is a like on YouTube. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Click the button below. If you want to be notified when I upload a video, click the bell next to the subscribe button. Thanks for stopping by and I hope I inspired you with today's creation. Have a great day.